I I want to pull a card for you, Roy. You can pull a card for me, absolutely. Did you want me to pull another card for you or you want to pull my card first? I want to pull your card first. Pull it, do it. A psychic reading with Roy. I'm waiting to see if he is in here. And yeah, so welcome. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a psychic reading today. And this will be interesting. I'm super excited. Hi, Annie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Oh, you look beautiful. Thank I knew you. I knew I would. I knew you would. <laughs> oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, you excited? Are you ready for this? I'm super excited for doing this. We're gonna have such a great time. Yeah, I'm really excited. I hope that I can look at you and not keep looking at myself. <laughs> <laughs> Try to stay focused. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. You'll be good. You'll be good. You connect with spirit. We're going to see what messages come through for you. We're going to, you know, start off and we're going to go psychic and we're going to see information. Might be some soul information coming through as well from things that might have happened younger years, growing up and moving forward. All that information starts to come through. We'll get some validation and then, you know, we'll just see where it takes us and it'll be fun. So I'm just going to set an intention quickly, um, Stoney, just to start to connect and start to pull through some information. Um, Okay, and I'm also going to ask you, do you give me um, permission to connect and to be able to read you? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank 100%. you. Oh, yay. We're going to have so much fun. Okay. So I want to just start off first in the beginning. Um, so the first thing I want to acknowledge is I always start, like I said, from the beginning, we work away progression through life and how things tend to go. If I don't look all the time, it's because I'm connecting. So please don't take that uh, in any way of offense. I just want to start by saying that I do want to acknowledge that first, I do feel that there is a birthday coming up for you. So would you acknowledge and know that that would be coming up? And I do feel that you're going to be moving closer to a milestone birthday. Would you understand that? Um, possibly. Okay. I want to say um, the month of May. Would you understand the month of May? Yes. Okay. Would you understand that you are moving towards... Um, a number, I don't want to say the number because I don't want to give out your age, but I'm just saying, would you understand that you're moving towards a milestone number that's coming up? So you're gradually creeping up to this number? Sure, you can say the number, I'm curious. Okay, okay. are you creeping up to 40? Are you turning like 37 or 38? 38. Okay, yeah, so you're creeping up though. We are moving up to 40, right? So we're getting closer to that milestone. Mm -hmm. Okay, just want to make sure, okay. You have always had, I feel like this is interesting. I feel like you've always had two first names. So I know that you go by you know, Kylie Sonique love two first names, but I also feel like in your past, you also had two first names. Would you understand that? Um, yes. Okay. I'm being drawn to the intention that you, you did not grow up in um, where you live now in California. So I am being drawn to the South. So I want to say East Coast, South, but I do feel that there was movement around within that. So would you understand that when you were younger, you might have moved a few times within that state Oh yeah. Because I'm getting I'm getting like four times. Would you understand four times as a movement roughly? Um, that sounds about correct, yeah. Okay. Because I'm getting four. So they're showing the number four. So I feel like you did move a few times. So I'm also hearing that one of the towns could be mistaken for another town in the United States. Could you understand that? Yeah. Okay. I feel father is like absent. I want to say that you have two fathers. Would you understand that? I feel like you had another father that yes. stepped in. I also want to say you have siblings. Mm -hmm. I'm also getting um, movement with you. So as I got this with Sasha, I'm also getting this with you as well. So I do feel like as a younger kid, you did a lot of movement, but I don't feel drawn to dance. I feel like this would be more of a acrobatic type of movement for you. So would you understand that you would have been someone that would have did, um, I don't feel like it's, well, maybe it is a form of dancing, but it's not like cheerleading. I feel like it's like acrobatic. So would you understand that you would have done something that would have been that type of style of movement? Yeah. Okay. Very difficult for you growing up. Let's um, say that I feel that making friends was very, very difficult. I feel that you would have felt um, not the best of energy from students or kids that you would have grown up around, but as well as adults that would have been around them. Would you understand that? R repeat that again that you would have been like you would have not gotten the best of energy from like friends that you would have been around or younger kids when you were younger as well as adults that they would have known yes i'm picking up on a lot of um 
emotional and verbal type of like heartache from the situation. I feel like you didn't hide who you were though when you were younger. So I think that people were very, felt very threatened or felt very, um, they didn't know how to handle who you were as an individual. So I think that's what really caused a lot of that anxiety and the way that they lashed out was verbally through words because of not being able to process. Um, because I feel like you were someone that was very true to yourself and you did speak the truth and you lived your truth even at a very young age. So because you did that, it made it very hard for people. And I feel like you came from a very, very, very small town for some reason. Banjos. Would you understand banjos at all? I mean, I'm from, I'm from South Georgia. I'm from Albany, Georgia. It's a small town. Okay. Okay, so would you understand banjos? Because I feel like banjos are very relevant to your situation or to where you're from. I just feel like the word banjo or so. I just, the, the instrument came to my mind. So I just have to say what I, what I'm, what's coming to me. So I feel like the reference of a banjo, you would understand what that means. Um, I just, I, I think I tend to say that when I um, describe where I'm from. Oh, okay. So they're, okay. So they're acknowledging that. So that makes sense. Because they say, mention banjo, mention banjo. So I'm glad that you can understand that because I'm like, I don't know why I would mention a banjo, but you understand that. Okay. Would you have also, um, I'm, I'm being brought to the attention that there was confusion within the household as well when you were younger. Would you have been someone that would have um, played with a lot of your sister's toys? Would you understand that? Oh, for sure. Okay. 100%. Okay. Because I'm being, I'm being drawn to attention for some reason of like, dolls and I feel like you enjoyed dressing them or doing their hair or doing stuff like that. So I'm being told that that would have been something that you would have did. Um, I do feel that there was a lot of confusion, especially with your mother at such a very, very young age. Um, I feel like she did not know how to process what was happening. So I feel that a lot of her emotions was definitely thrusted onto you. And I feel that, I feel like she would have removed you from the house and put you in a situation, it's almost to kind of like, see if it would help you or change. Do you understand that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, she, she sent me to a military school oh. when I was 17. Oh God, okay. I feel like that was a way for her to process what you were, what you were going through and what she was going through. And she thought the best resolution was for her to do something of that nature. Um, but I think that even though in retrospect, at that moment when you were going through it, you might have said to yourself, why is, why is this happening? Why am I being thrown into this situation? But I think it actually was a propel and a catalyst for you, actually, to really start the movement of the journey that you're on and where you're actually, where you're going. Can you understand that? Because I do feel that you did not stay in that situation very long. And I'm also feeling that you took yourself out of that situation on your own. You did not ask for permission in any shape or form. You just were like, I'm doing this and I'm getting myself out of this situation. So would you understand that you picked up and just left? Yeah, I left. I went okay. AWOL. Okay. Oh, you're such a rebel. <laughs> I'm still a rebel. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you're saying that you just picked up and left. Okay. So I feel like that actually started the movement of who you started to become and what you started to do. I do feel at that point in time, there was a disconnection from family. Would you understand that? A hundred percent. Okay. I also want to say that I feel that there might be communication from time to time with family, but I feel that you are very, very removed from family. I feel that you actually created your own family within your own life and where you are with friends. And that is really who your family is now. I feel that th there is still a very heavy reservation and preservation. Um, and I almost feel like you don't even feel drawn to go back to where you where you were born and where you came from. <clears throat> Would you understand that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just getting that there's no, the connection with the family is very absent to me. I feel like it might be close with, with your mother at times, but I feel that there's still a disconnection with siblings where I just feel like there's, you're not on the same page. Can you understand where there still is like some type of disconnection there? Yeah. Yeah. And I want to say that I think that you're doing a really good job at um, working through it and trying to heal through it. But I still feel like subconsciously, there's still some work that needs to be done on that level. I'm getting a draw, a pull to Florida. So would you understand that you would have been pulled 
to Florida at some point? Um, yes. Yeah, I got offered a job there, and I and I, okay. and I did that. Okay. Because I feel like you're kind of like a gypsy um, in the beginning stages of your life, you know, so you're kind of finding your way, moving around, trying to feel like where you fit in, what's going on. They are for some, um, okay, I don't know why I'm saying this. Would you understand, they're showing me a black bird. Would you understand a black bird? It's almost like um, a sparrow or a raven or something of that nature. For some reason, I'm being shown a yeah. black bird in my head. And I feel like that's important for me to bring up right now. I think it has to do with your past. And it would be important. It would have been something that would have helped you. Can you understand how that would be relevant? Mm -hmm. My drag mother's name is Raven. Um, okay. Yeah. Is there a significance also with black bird or something black bird also? Like just the word black bird? Just the word, yeah. Was it like relative in a, in a situation or I feel like it would have been called to a, I feel like it's like almost a location or something. Black bird, black. Mm. Would you know of a place called down where you were from called black bird or, or black, black ridge or black, Bay? I don't know. I feel like it's something there that you would have, you would have went to. Like a, like a place? Like a place, yeah, it's a place. I don't think you necessarily performed there, but I do think that there is, um, you were there, you would have went there for some reason. So I do feel, I just feel like you're conjugating for some reason, I don't know why. So I feel like this place is, is important for a specific reason. So if it comes to you, just let me know, but just sit with it. But I do wanna just mention it, okay? I'm being drawn to food actually. So maybe it's a place where you would have eaten at or you would have ate at a lot. Like, oh, there's a place called Blackbeards that we would eat at when I was young. Okay, okay, because I'm being drawn to this. For some reason, it's something, would you have frequented that that place a lot when you were younger? Would you have eaten there a lot? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So again, it's just making mention again of things of your past that were significant to you or that would be relative to you, all right? Um, I want to move, okay, so you go to Florida. Um, so I feel like you, you really started to develop here, and I feel like you really started to work at your craft and then I'm being drawn to you being pulled into um, a situation. So I feel like you're, um, it's kind of like, I feel like you're looking for love. And I feel like you, I feel like you think you found love or found love, but the love was not everything that it was cracked up to be per se, because it was different paths. Would you understand that? So I feel like there was a journey that went on early on in your life. I want to say that this would be probably between somewhere around 18 to 20 years old, and it, it would have lasted for, a, you know, I want to say two to three years, I think this would have lasted. But I feel like there was some confusion there. Um, and I think it was more of a, it was like a, you were drawn to each other. And I think it developed into something because of just the draw of both of you together. But I do feel like there was some confusion there. But I still feel that there is like a connection that will never go away. Would you understand that? Mm -hmm. That was, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like this individual helped you. And I also feel like this individual, again, also was a part of molding and propelling you to a certain degree and finding yourself as you are also um, transforming. So I just, I want to say that I'm being drawn. I don't know why I'm going to say this. Um, I know on RuPaul's Drag Race, there is... Um, there's an Elliot with two T's. So for some reason, I'm being shown Elliot uh -huh. with two yeah. T's. Would you understand Elliot. that? Yeah, okay. Elliot. That was my, um, basically one of my first boyfriends I ever had when we were together for three years. But oh my passed, God. He passed away. Okay. There's a reason why he's mentioning this. So he is, there is still a connection. I want to let, just let you know that the connection really never died. Um, I get that from him. You also opened his eyes to something new as well that he did not know was actually something that he would open himself up to. Would you understand that? Yes. Because mm -hmm. for some reason, I'm just being drawn to the fact that I feel that he is someone that would have not really lived an alternative type of lifestyle. I feel like he was just someone that was a very, very more straight laced type of guy, but knew that there was something different and he actually felt connected with you. Can you understand that? Um, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I'm getting quickness with his passing. Would you understand that? Mm hmm Yeah. He okay. was, uh, he, um... Uh, took responsibility for his own passing? Um, no, he, 
uh, was in an accident, a car accident, mm. um, late at night. Um, okay. He hit a semi truck. Okay. He is telling me though, um, and I don't know if you can confirm this, that he was not a full mind uh, and, and sound body at that point when he was driving. Would you understand that? I'm not surprised. Okay. And that's why I had said to you before, you said taking um, uh, the semi truck and I said taking responsibility for his passing. It's because even though it was an accident, he knew that he was under the influence of something that would have caused the accident to happen. So he's taking responsibility for it as well. But he's definitely coming drawn into you and I do feel like he is around you. Um, and for some reason, I feel like ever so often you will hear a song that reminds you of him. Would you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay, because there's definitely a connection that he had with you. And I do feel an immense amount of love that he felt for you. So I do want you to know that. And I do feel that he is definitely with you a lot. Um, I think he's almost like a guardian angel for you because he's been with you for such a long time. Do you understand? So I, I'm, you know, he's been with you almost 20 years at this point. So there's definitely a, a kindred there. So it's really important for, you, for him to just come through and acknowledge that. And he's coming through with a message of thankfulness for you to let you know that you definitely were someone that evolved him and allowed him to grow in ways that he didn't think that he would grow. And he's very, very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want you to know that. Are you okay? You want a tissue? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You're good? Okay. I want to also say there's a mention of something that um, when you found out of his passing, you wished that you would have said something or something may have not been said that you felt like you needed to say, but you might have said it on your own in your mind. Would you understand that there was something that you felt like you might have wanted to convey had you known that this was going to happen? Because I feel like there was a message or something there that was might have not been said, but it was heard is what he's saying. So just know that. Okay. I'm being drawn to another uh, individual, but I feel like this individual would, ha would have had tattoos. Mm -hmm. I'm being drawn to a tattoo on the arm here. Would you understand? I feel like it's like, um, I don't think we get them anymore, like tribal or something like that. Would you understand? It would have been like a tribal tattoo of some sort. I'm getting, um, let me just see here. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, I dated a guy named Billy. He's from okay. Florida. I'm hearing, okay, I was hearing Willie. Okay. Willie or Billy. Okay, that's the same kind of name. Okay. Well, his name was William, but they Would, call him okay. Billy. You call him Billy. Okay. All right. They're bringing up this relationship as well for a good amount of time, but I also feel like you, you felt that it did not serve you. Would you understand that? Mm-hmm that you, you knew you need to get yourself out of the relationship because it was not serving you and there was issues that you felt were not right for you. So you got yourself out of that situation. I am, I am being drawn, I'm being drawn to a dog. Did you guys share a dog or did you like have a dog together or was there like a, a dog of some sort because I'm being drawn to a dog that I feel like you both would have had. I just feel- um, Okay. Yeah. Would you understand? Would you understand that? I feel like yeah. it would have been like it was like a nose. It's not like your gizmo. It's like a different kind of a different kind of dog. I feel like it had a snout a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? It would have been a darker kind of dog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we had a German Shepherd. Okay. Okay. You're making mention of this as well. I also feel like that also was something that also propelled you and also moved you into the direction that you're moving into now. So I also, like all of these things are all things that have been molding you. So I feel like you've been constantly transforming into who you are leading up to, um, again, now I want to just go into a part of your life now where you're moving forward. And I feel like there was two major events occurring at one time. Um, I feel like they were both very important in your life, but one had to be put on hold for a reason because of the other one. Would you understand that? Um, yes. So these are like two very, very large, I feel like these are two large things that are going on in someone's life. You know, it would be like a wedding and a pregnancy, but not specifically that. But I'm just saying like, it's two things that are happening that are big for people. And then you have to put something on hold. And I feel that you realized, I think you realized that there was more importance behind one of them 
I feel like the one you put on hold had more importance to you than actually the other one. And I think you realized that. Would you understand that? Um, yes. I want to say that one of them has to do with your evolvement. Would you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I feel like there was um, a, an automatic pause or a stop and you did not mm -hmm. like or feel that that energy was appropriate. Um, and I think it threw you a little bit. Um, and, I, and, I, and I feel that you realize that your journey or your life, it was like you needed to, again, I think spirit behind the scenes took you out of an equation to move you forward into the one that you really should have been moving forward with because bigger things were going to happen. Can you understand that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is this, is this like something like a long time ago or is this something like? I want to say this is something that's a little bit more, I think it has to do with your, with your evolution um, and, and you becoming who you are. So I feel like you were part of something and that was happening. It was happening at the same time and you had to put it on hold. You had to put like who you were on hold with your process because of something else was going on that was pulling you in a different direction that was equally probably just as big. And I feel like that might have thrown your energy off a little bit because you mm -hmm. felt like you didn't want to put who you were on hold. You didn't feel that was fair. Can you understand that? Um, yeah, I told you I'm busy. Um, yeah, oh. I uh, auditioned, I got picked to be on RuPaul's Drag Race um, okay. season two. And mm -hmm. I had started my transition right before, like, um, I'd started my transition um, around the time that they were doing season one. And I had, I was an alternate for that season, but they told me that I would definitely be on the second season um, if I okay. didn't do it. So I put my, and at that time, you know, they didn't have trans people on the show. And um, so I held, I like stopped transitioning basically to do the show right okay that makes sense and i feel that would you understand that would have um i almost feel like that that it just didn't sit well with you so i just feel like it was a part where you were like very confused and tossed with the emotions and what direction you wanted to go in so i i just feel like behind the scenes things were happening to help put you back on the track that you needed to be on because that was going to really gear you to where you needed to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I feel like that's really, really important. I don't know if you saw my story on uh, my last one, but for some reason I felt drawn to put on a certain song. And I felt like that song would somehow sit with you or resonate. I don't know why, um, but I don't know if you got to hear it or not, but it was promoting our, our lives. And when I was doing the clip and I was looking for music, this song just popped up and I said, Oh, I love this song. And I felt like it would relate to you. Um, I'm just sure what's that? It's um, by Robin. Um, Indestruct Indestructible. Would you understand that song? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I feel like they're, they're saying that that song is very important to you. I actually really like that song as well. And as I was doing it, I felt like that was going to be something that would be um, important to you and relative. So I want to just make mention of the song for you. Would you understand vanilla ice cream? I'm allergic to ice cream. But I'm for some, for some reason I feel like there's something with vanilla ice cream that you can understand or you can relate to. Would you understand it? I don't know if it's something that you eat, something that you enjoy, but there's something there that I feel like is important. And I used to really like it, but I think was this way back when? Because for some reason they're making a mention of the vanilla ice cream, and I feel like you would have eaten it a lot. Oh yeah, when I was younger, yeah. For sure. So again, it's like you would have eaten the vanilla ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. I feel like it's really, really important to mention the vanilla ice cream. Um, I have someone stepping forward here quickly, and they've been here for a while. So I just want to see if you understand who this person might be. And I do, again, I, this is a lot regarding um, you evolving and, and going over time, but I feel like this would have been someone that you would have known. I feel like this would have been somewhat of an entertainer. I'm getting um, a pageanty vibe from this individual. Would you understand if there's someone in spirit who would have been from your hometown that would have been pageanty or someone that would have performed? Um, I do feel like this person would have been older than you back then. So I do feel like there might be like 10 to 15 years difference, but this person would have really been an influence or someone that would have helped a lot of people in the drag world back then. I'm getting drag, so I just feel like drag is important for this individual. Yes, 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 yes. yes. 
I'm being pulled to, um, they're showing me COVID. So I'm being pulled to ventil ventilators, ventilation. I feel like this person would have been on a ventilator towards the end of their passing. I'm feeling a tremendous amount of difficulty breathing. Would you understand that? Um, yes. I feel like this would have been a person that you would have um, been in contact with or would have, would have considered a friend. Would you understand that? Mm -hmm. I do feel this person did suffer um, towards the end for quite a while. I do feel that they would have been in the hospital for quite some time as well. And I do feel like the community came together. He is saying the community came together to really pull together and do a fundraiser. So I do feel like money was raised for the situation um, because mm -hmm. times were tough for for him of a partner of an individual that he would have he would have been with i feel like they would have been together for oh he showed me a very long time so i feel like they would have been together for a very long time would you understand if he, this individual would have had a partner because i'm being drawn to a very long time that they would have been together i'm hearing a name for this person i don't know if you would know their name but i feel like their name is gary would you understand gary yeah ashley cruz ashley cruz was her drag name and okay. gary was her her name out of drag he's coming through as gary um to me so he's mentioning his partner though the partner 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 so i do feel like um there's a tremendous amount of love that was there he had but a I feel roommate like... that he lived with forever like there's okay. a roommate that I they feel like i feel like they were more than roommates though because he's coming through saying that they were like more than roommates it's like weird like the relationship but i feel like but he's showing me like 20 years plus together. Would you understand that? Um, it, it's possible. I don't know a lot about the personal life. I know, okay. Okay. I know that they were roommates forever. Okay. Like, yeah, really I, I close. Have, yeah, I feel like they were like almost connected that way. So that could be that strong bond relationship that mm -hmm. he is talking about. Um, he is saying that he feels that many people were caught off guard by the passing as well. So even though he would have had this, I feel like it's like a, a lung or a condition with a lung or like a pneumonia situation that developed and it got worse and worse and worse where breathing was extremely difficult for him. Would you understand that? Because I do feel like um, respiratory. Yeah. Issues. Respiratory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I know that uh, he was, HIV positive and I think um like his uh he had like a like issues with his rest with the lung okay so yeah. that makes sense because it is being drawn to to the lung area so that would have been why he's mentioning the ventilator um he's coming through again I get this individual as well you have a lot of people I think in spirit from your past who are with you now moving forward into the into the future because they are following you on your trajectory and on the path that you're going all right so i just want to let you know that again he is someone that is working behind the scenes to help you um and i feel like he helped you as well when he was here so i feel like there like was a connection there so you can understand that right mm -hmm. for some reason you I, I'm, I'm pulling through people that i feel like are friends to you because you considered them like family and I feel a, a, a disconnect from the family. And these people considered you like family as well. So there's just so much love there. So I just want you to understand that. Um, don't be afraid to call on people that you feel may, may have been in your past or may not be relative to you anymore at this time, because know that you may have made an impact in their life and they may have made an impact in your life that you can still call upon and know that they're there to help you as much as they can, okay? I just want to see there. I think they're showing me a little bit about. Does your mother have blonde short hair? It, it, is, is, blonde. It, it is blonde. There's so much healing that needs to be done with her. Um, and I feel like there's a lot that she wants to say. I feel like communication is very difficult for her. Would you understand that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm getting like a, a like a, this, an extreme amount of guardedness large walls around her and i also feel that she is she she has so much that she wants to say and i feel like she wants to get a lot out but there's so much healing i just don't know i just feel like it's very difficult for her it's like it's been like baby steps every step of the way would you understand that and it's like and it's still like baby steps it's like still very very difficult you know what i mean yeah um 
And I think that you are more, I feel like you have extended as much as you could extend to show that you have like the openness, but I feel like they're not extending back. So now you have kind of retreated back and you're like, well, um, this is me now. You know what I mean? When you're ready, you come to me. But I just, I just feel like it's, there's like a, such a really big wall there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say that, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to send out a lot of healing energy for, for them and, and for you as well, because I would love to eventually at some point have healing on both sides, because I think it would be wonderful because you're such a beautiful human being and they're it, it's just missing out on so much to know what I'm saying. So I just feel oh, like it's so important. It's so important. Really so important. I'd love to like, let you ask a question or if you have anything you want me to try to feel into um, and see if there's anything that I can work on for you. And then we can open up to some cards for everybody. Um, like, like when I ask a question, like, do, does it need to be like a specific thing? Like, <clears throat> well, I mean, it could be anything. I mean, let's just see where it goes and I'll, and we'll see if we get, you know, an yeah. answer. Yeah. Um, I am, I mean, you know, everything is like crazy right now with the pandemic going on. Mm -hmm. the, um, and I just really enjoy working and doing my thing. Do you see like that happening anytime soon? Okay. And like, so I, I immediately get the energy from you that you come alive when you're on a stage. So I feel like your energy is more propelled when you are in front of people and you get their energy and that fuels you. And that's when you really come alive and you show your personality. And I feel like this COVID has really um, stunted a lot of your energy and has really put you into like a, a zone where you're like not really feeling who you really are at this point. Do you know what I'm saying? And I know that you want to be on the stage and you want to be out there doing what you got to do. I get it it's just really hard right now. And I know a lot of people are suffering, but for someone like yourself who revolves their life so much around the stage and the music and the performing, it's extremely frustrating because you can't really do that on a Zoom or on an Instagram live. I mean, yeah, you could do shows like Quarantine Queen and all that, but it's not the same as getting the energy from the people on the floor and fueling you. Do you know what I'm saying? I know that's when you come alive. And I feel like that's the energy that really sustains you to move forward to the next project and the next project and the next project. Mm -hmm, for sure. Can you understand that? Uh -huh. um, I also want to say that I feel like you're a little ritualistic before you go on stage. Would you understand that you have like a little bit of a ritual or something that you do, but I feel like it's important, but it's something that you do to calm yourself down. I just, I just heard that right now. And they said, mention that. So I feel like yeah. there's something ritualistic that you do. And I feel like it's something spiritual. Yeah, it is. I always like, do like a little prayer or meditate like right okay. before. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like you call on anyone in particular. I just feel like you open it up and you just let it go. Mm -hmm. And wherever, wherever it comes from, you just let it pour in. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me, um, what other, what other questions do you have? Um, um, me... I'm really curious. Like I, I, um, started doing music, um, you know, I've been writing music or songs for like almost 10 years now. And mm -hmm. I recently started like, you know, having them produced and, and putting them out. And it's something that I really enjoy doing. And I just want to know, do you see, what do you see for um, my music? I feel that you may have not taken full opportunity of this time to really pull into to writing fully? Have you not been doing a lot of writing lately? Mm -mm. Yeah, so I can feel that. And I feel like you have not maximized this opportunity. Um, so I'm hearing that this, whatever is left of this period creatively would be really smart for you to start to pull into that and start to write and use that because I feel like this is a good time for you to go into emotion and go into what you feel and put it out on paper. Um, I do feel that there's going to be another project coming out. Okay. I would start to like work on that now, if you could start doing that, because I think mm -hmm. it would be good for you to do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, thank you. Um, yeah, and I have one more question. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I think. Sure. Um, I am curious about my uh, 
a love life or my love life or um what do you do you see anything in, in that yeah let me just see here so i hear you're guarded you have a hard time letting people in you know you know what i'm saying so i do feel like that's something that you really keep very very sacred to yourself so for you to really let somebody in um it has to be somebody really really special i i just want to say that someone significant in a really strong bonded relationship i don't see anything coming until like end of 2021 that, um, <laughs> can you just repeat that last thing that you said to me one more time because it was like a little glitch i think you need to um wait until 2022 is going to be your year of eventfulness. So a lot of it's going to take off for you in 2022. So this is going to be the year where you're going to be building, building, building. You're going to be creating, creating, creating. You're going to be developing relationships. Everything's going to come into play. And then you're going to see 2022 is where you're really going to start to take off. So I feel like this is the year where you need to really just hone in, focus, work, do what you need to do, and then get there. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Yeah, um, exactly. Just be uh, open. Be yeah, open. Just, just be open. I mean, um, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think. Open. Is there anything else? Okay. So I, so I had a, my grandpa just passed away on um, okay. Christmas Eve, um, Christmas Eve night, like 30 minutes before Christmas. Um, and I was just curious. I don't know if like, I don't know. Like, I went and seen him in the hospital, and he was just kind of, like, out of it, and I don't get to see him that often, and I went and, like, talked to him and stuff like that, and it was just, I don't know if, like, I don't know if there's any way that you could, like, let me know, like, if he knew that it was me there, or if he even, like, I don't know, because I didn't get to go to the funeral, because I, like, literally, because with everything with COVID, and I had just left when he passed away, and it was... It makes things very difficult. COVID made everything very difficult for a lot of people. And sadly, a lot of people, a lot of people um, passed and it makes it very traumatic. Um, I just don't know if there's, if there's anything there. Yeah. I feel like he wasn't fully coherent towards the end. Would you understand that? Mm -hmm. So I feel communication was basically not really um, something that he was able to do towards the end. But I, but I do feel like, I feel like you said something to him. Mm-hmm. He mentioned that you said something to him and that he holds it like very dear to his heart. Mm. Would you understand that his, um, I'm getting quick also with his passing. Would you understand that his passing was somewhat quick? Did it catch people off guard? Off guard? Yeah, it, it happened pretty quick, yeah. Yeah, because I do feel that. He's saying it happened very quickly. People were not really prepared fully for the passing it caught a lot of people off guard and and you know people he also saying that some people didn't have the full opportunity to say goodbye that they would have wanted to would you understand that mm -hmm. yeah for sure okay so he's coming through and acknowledging that people who felt like they were not able to say goodbye and if you know anyone who that might have been that the goodbyes that were said he did hear them so that's really important so no one should have any regret or feel any regret in the form that something may have not been said. I feel tremendous love for you, though. I feel like he, he was a supporter behind you. Would you understand that? Mm -hmm. And I feel like he was more of a supporter behind you than your actual, like, mother or father or siblings. Would you understand that as well? I could, I could see that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's definitely, def he definitely heard what you said. He definitely acknowledges the fact that you were communicating and that you did the best that you could with what was going on based on the situation. Had you been able to have more time, I do feel his energy around you though. It's pretty strong. Was he um, somewhat of a funny guy? Um, I mean, he would make me laugh, so. Yeah, because he's bringing up like jokes or humor in, a, in an interesting way. So I just feel like he had an interesting type of sense of humor or way about him. Would you understand that? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, you definitely have a lot of people around you, though. That's the good thing. I mean, people are supporting you. Just know that whatever you feel like may have not been heard or may have not been said was acknowledged and was heard. And for those who did not get to say goodbye because of the sudden passing, that they were also acknowledged and heard as well. All right. So if you communicate with anyone that may um, feel any, any reservement, just let them know that the messages were heard. 
Okay, coolness. Should we yeah, pull a good. card? Are we pulling a card for me? We're gonna pull a card for you. Yes, we are. Oh my god. My nipples were like all over the place. Should I can't I can't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, I'm gonna pull a card. Oh and we're going to see where it goes. I'm going to see where, where, where we are here. Okay. Oh, now people are going to start saying, pull the card, pull the card, pull the card. So I'm, I pulled from my angel deck. Can you see me okay? Yeah. Okay. I got um, Archangel Zedekiel. And the card says, transformation. And on the bottom, it says, thank you, Zedekiel, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. Okay, mm -hmm. so this this card is basically telling you that um, whatever you feel you might be you might be harvesting or holding on to, you know, strip away all of that energy and just basically move forward. You have a lot of support on the other side from angels and from loved ones and spirit, and they're supporting you both mentally, physically, and emotionally every step of the way through every portion of transformation. And this card is letting you know that you are still transforming and you are still evolving. So as you continue to transform and evolve, and I feel like there's gonna be many more sides of you that people are going to get to see, which is going to be really, really great, that know that you're aligned with spirit and you're aligned with your loved ones in spirit and that they're all working with you behind the scenes to make things really evolve and work for you and pave out that path, all right? So I just feel like this card is just knowing that you're constantly evolving, constantly transforming. You're just one of those individuals that's always going to be, what's the next step for me? What's the next step for me? And call on him. I don't know, I mean, I, I know you're probably very spiritual in a certain way. So I mean, if you're open to it, this is Archangel Zedekiel and um, he's really big on helping with transformation. So I think it's really super important, okay? Mm -hmm. Can you understand that? How does that feel for you? Could that resonate? What's his name again? I have such a horrible memory. Archangel Zedekiel. Zedekiel Archangel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Archangel Zedekiel. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I love when people acknowledge. It makes me know that we're on the right path. So that's nice. Thank you so much. Um, I I want to pull a card for you, Roy. You can pull the card for me, absolutely. Did you want me to pull another card for you or you want to pull my card first? I want to pull your card first. Pull it, do it. Um, this is my, this is like my first deck that- I love it. Personally. Um, okay, so I'm gonna it. pull a card for you. Oh my God, this is a great card. Um, this is up in the script. Tangerine. Um, mm -hmm. These are color cards. Um, be spontaneous and have fun. Let me read what it means. Yeah, so that resonates very well. Oh, wow. <laughs> Tangerine is the color of vibrancy, creativity, zest for life, and vitality. It has the mm -hmm. capacity to wake in your sexual and creative energies and symbolize warmth, richness, courage, and spontaneity. Inner knowing, action, confidence, and determination are properties of Tangerine. Activate Tangerine energy and unleash your wild self. Oh, well, that's really good. Right. So the tangerine definitely resonates well. Very good card. Thank you so much for that. And I love it. And that does resonate as well with what the message was. So definitely oh. very, good. very you, better, good. you better get the, your freak on, girl. Well, honey, with COVID, there's no freak going on around here because it's so rough. Uh, well, you got to live life on the dangerous side sometimes. I know. I, you're you right. Craft you're a right. few eggs to make an omelet. Listen, life is short, right? Life is too short. You got to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. All right, here's what I got for you. Um, so you got pulled another card. Oh. Miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. So this card is saying that right now you're in a development stage where miracles are happening all around you. This actually kind of resonates with your question earlier today because you were asking about direction and movement and know that when you set the proper intention and you set the right mindset, that you can manifest these things to actually happen for you. So again, for you, and I feel like you might do this, you might do like a vision board, but I feel like setting the right intention and um, knowing the direction you want to go in, these miracles are just going to start to happen gradually, gradually, gradually. You are someone that's um, a very goal-oriented, very 
the doer, doer, doer. So you set your mind to something and you commit 110% and you do it and you make sure that it gets done. So I just want to let you know that this card is saying that these miracles are going to be happening. And I really feel strongly about what I set for you with 2022 being a really great year for you because I do feel like once we get through this COVID, everything's going to open up and your doors are going to open up and then things are just really going to be and my like, legs are going to open up you know, and it's going to be buck bonky or like <laughs> buck bonky up in here <laughs> you know what's so crazy is when you did sasha's reading and you pulled a card for me that was the card that you pulled for me i can't make it up i and you both have, i can't make this up i don't even know it, it's just so weird i'm pulling randomly these cards do I pull a third card? <laughs> let's do it, honey. I'm feeling lucky today. You want a third message? <laughs> yeah, let's do a third message. Okay. Let's pull a third. This card I know you never got. Take time to breathe. Breathe with ease, knowing you're here. So this card is saying that leave things in the hands of spirit know that you are being guided and being moved in the right direction and know that things are being handled. When you take time to reflect and breathe, things will automatically fall into place and happen for you gradually. So I do feel that this also falls into a really great place with what I said to you. It's the same message in just different cards <laughs> because mm -hmm. it's kind of redundant, but it's just saying things are happening and know that you're here. You are where you're supposed to be. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're on the right path. Um, do you get deja vu a lot? Um, yeah. Right. So I just feel like that's another, um, <laughs> I just felt like I had to say that because I feel like you do get that a lot. That's the way for you to know that you're on the right path so that you are succeeding in the right direction. So just know that that's really true. There you go. Those okay. bugs are just bothering you, huh? I don't know what that is. Maybe I'm not, I don't, I don't like to kill things. Um, because that's a life. But I heard that if you come back as an insect, that means that you were a bad person in a past life. Um, so. Don't come back as a spider. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> Do we have uh, another card? I can pull a few more if you want. We can once, go, like, you, once you have been a human, you will always be a human. You have to work your way up to a human, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's correct. You always. And you choose. You choose when and how you want to reincarnate as well. So if you feel like you missed something on your first journey through life, you come back again to capture a different moment in a segment to go through that as well. So we always wait to reincarnate for different moments and journeys that we want to go through. Hmm. Super important. Mm -hmm. Super Are you guys important. writing this down? Write everything down. People write it down. <laughs> Learn. The library's open. When you do things outside with nature, it really helps you get grounded. Do you know what I mean? And I think it's super important. I believe that. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, I, I have to remind myself that too because um, I'm from Georgia and I grew up playing in the yard barefoot and stuff like that. And then, you know, I'm older now and I live on the third floor of an apartment. Yeah. And, you know, I don't want to roll around in the grass out here because people don't pick up after their dogs so it's right. kind of like <laughs> it's yeah a little, it's not it's a little crazy but it's not the I same do, yeah it's good to go in nature and like re-energize and connect with the planet the energy it, it's really good to do that because it helps you energetically recenter yourself so when you recenter yourself it opens your energy up to other good energy out there and when we don't ground ourselves you know, especially like someone like myself who does a lot of this work, if I live always in such a high floating in the air situation, I leave myself very exposed to energy that's not really all that great. So, you know, mm -hmm. do some staging, do some cleansings, all that stuff really helps you to get grounded and stay grounded. Yeah, the, the ego will do that to you too. It'll keep it you will distracted from, from Yeah, you gotta, you gotta check your ego at the door all the time. You cannot have an ego. <laughs> That completes our journey. <laughs> it does. Oh my God. It's been, well, it's we been got a good one. So much. So much. I feel like my head is spinning. So much information. Mm -hmm. You know what? I Yeah. It's good. It's good. I feel like you want to go dancing. I do. I know. And I usually don't want to unless there's a check involved. 
but I miss it so much. You miss it. I miss it too. You know, I was supposed to come out to LA twice already within this whole COVID situation, and I haven't been able to get out there. And I, don't, I was going to plan for May, and that will be three times not happening. So now we're shooting for October. Uh, well, hey. Maybe I'll be performing somewhere when you come out here. I would love for you to be performing in October, and I will come out and visit you. Yes. I mean, yeah, hopefully. I will definitely reach out to you. And if you're performing, would love to see you. Yes, absolutely. I can't get that song out of my head that I texted you about. Oh, yeah? The song. Yeah, your song. The one my that song? I... My song? Oh, my yeah. song. The one yeah. I wrote. Yeah. Just, just Thinking? Just thinking, I can't get it out of my uh -huh. head. I keep like listening to it and listening to it. It's so beautiful. That's my first love song I ever wrote. I've never been able to write a love song, and that was the one I wrote. Oh, I love it. I just Don't love the way me. I like the way it flows melodically. It's really beautiful, really cool, cool to me. Um, and I just, I just feel very drawn to the song. So it's very beautiful, be beautiful song. Thanks. I'm glad you yeah. like it. That that really makes me feel good. <laughs> I love it. There you go, with a snap and a half, right? <laughs> did you have fun, my dear? Did you enjoy it? I did, it? I did. I've been uh, planning it for quite some time, so I hope that you enjoyed it. I did, I and I hope that anybody who's watching and been you know, with us this whole time, we've been on here for an hour and a half now. Um, yes. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah. Absolutely. So. Yeah. And all my information is in my um, link in bio. Yes, please. Um, please check out Roy. He um, is amazing at what he does. And you can find him. Uh, his, uh, let me put your, your Instagram handle. Oh, yeah. Me. If you um, could do that. Spell it for me. Yes. Yeah, C-E-L-E-B-T, the number 10. BT 10. Hold on. 10. Okay. Yep. So I think that that's it right there. I'm going to pin it. You guys, um, that's Roy's. Um, yep. Yeah, that's Roy's uh, Instagram handle. You guys follow him. He does uh, online readings. He also can do like personal readings. Yeah. So please check him out. Um, I found him through Ray of the Trays. Um, uh, getting a read and then also uh, Sasha Colby my roommate she was uh, getting a read into and he is absolutely amazing and yeah so if you, you have if you're looking for answers or you need some kind of guidance or direction it's always good to find someone who's enlightened who can uh, help deliver I appreciate that thank that you message. so much Sonia. you're such a beautiful light and I really appreciate you doing this with me um it's been just so beautiful and amazing you're a beautiful person and i just love everything that you 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 just transcend great energy and i love working with people with great energy so thank you so much for all of this it's really been a blessing and uh, i've really enjoyed it thank you i've really enjoyed it too and i appreciate you taking the time to Absolutely. do this with me and um to the people that are uh following along so yeah. i really do appreciate it yeah thank you so much and people can watch this on your igtv right so you'll have yes. it up there I'm going to save this and put it on my IGTV so for other people to check out. Yep. Perfect. Thank you so much. Enjoy. A pleasure. Many blessings to everybody. Have a great one. Enjoy your evening. Bye, everybody. Bye.